Um, and obviously six months post-op so I can answer questions that I couldn't really answer back then. I'm not doing it because he's getting money in his back pocket, he's doing it because he knows that I really want to get it done. Like, okay, so the first question is like how how do I feel? Do I have any regrets? Do you like once you have them, do you know you've got them? Like can you feel okay I'm different here? Does it feel any different when you work out? How was the pain after? Literally skydived eight weeks after my operation, so <laughs> Did they help your confidence? Um, how much was it? Not a bad feeling, but I just had this in my head that it was gonna be really, 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 really tough. How many cup sizes did they go up? I didn't answer to my first one because I actually hadn't been measured at the time. friends welcome back to my channel so today i'm doing a long-awaited updated boob job q and a i'm currently six months post-op almost seven months post-op now i just wanted to answer the questions that i got asked from my last video um i had a few people dm me literally had so many people dm me i was shocked how many people actually found me from that video um and they were dming me like asking me questions and stuff so basically i just want to sit here and talk to you guys and go through the questions that i've been most frequently asked i don't think there's a better way to understand a procedure than hearing it from someone that's had the procedure so for me these videos were a godsend like i literally watched every single one that i could find and i know how beneficial these videos were for me and yeah my makeup looks horrible it's crusty dusty it's been on for almost 12 hours so please just ignore that but we're gonna get on the questions etc so basically i didn't really post much about my boob job obviously i posted that video i'm very open i wanted to tell you guys that i was going like having surgery i don't want to hide things or like i don't know i just don't want speculation i don't want to be someone that doesn't admit to things or tell you things anything like that but i haven't really made it a big thing because i'm one not promoting it at all two i don't want to look like i'm like i'm not even being paid for this i actually paid for it out of my own money and everything like that so it's not an ad it's not sponsored it's something i chose to do for myself i had a few dms that were hating on me I had a few comments that were hating on me it's something i did for myself something that i don't regret doing and if something is bothering you and you can change it and you want to change it be my guest but in no way am i saying you need a boob job in no way am i saying Oh, you should get one i'm not promoting it this is purely for people that you know are interested or are thinking about getting it i just want to help people i'm not here to promote i'm not here to encourage i'm not here to influence i'm here to tell you my side of how it all went and yeah if you want to get it that's on you but i promise you now the last thing i want to do is make people feel insecure or make people feel they need something you don't need anything perfect the way you are rich coming from me when i've had something changed but for me it just was the right thing for me to do and if it's the right thing for you to do to change something go for it but if it's not and you're happy with the way you are love that for you love your natural body because i wish i did like i really wish i did and i just didn't and it's something that was in my head for years so if you want to hear my whole blabber about all of that I did speak about it in my first video about this, so I'll link that down below. That has like all the questions that like are the main questions that people ask. So like price, sizing, all that good stuff. I literally vlogged the whole thing. It's a really long video, um, but I basically put it all into one big video just for people to watch if they want to watch it, if they don't want to watch it. I didn't want to make a big thing about it. It was one video, vlogged the whole process, obviously not the actual process, but as much as I could. And yeah, if you want to see all of the ins and outs of that, the other videos for you but if you just want to hear the answer to some questions then this one's for you um and obviously six months post-op so i can answer questions that i couldn't really answer back then because that was before during and just after the op so obviously i couldn't really answer some of the, the questions for the long run so that's what i'm doing this for today anyway that's the disclaimer done <laughs> okay without further ado let's get straight into the questions so obviously again just to touch on that a little bit more obviously when you go for your consultations your surgeon is often gonna like big it up they're gonna encourage you to get it um my surgeon actually didn't he was like he wants you to do it for the right reasons and he was very like why are you getting it done he was very questioning of me which i liked because i was like okay he's he's not doing it because he's getting money in his back pocket he's doing it because he knows that i really want to get it done like he made sure that i did it for the right reasons so not all surgeons but most surgeons are obviously in it for the, the dollar like let's be real that's what they're there for they're there to get money from you whatever anyway but obviously they are going to sell you this dream and they are going to 
whatever hearing it from like the horse's mouth who's somebody that doesn't earn money if you go and get a boob job so like personal experiences were so beneficial for me to watch and yeah I feel like I've already said this. I'm just saying it different words. Anyway, let's just move on. Okay, so the first question is like, how how do I feel? Do I have any regrets? I feel brilliant, honestly. Um, I don't have any regrets. I'm happy with everything I chose. Size, what else is there? I'm literally like, there's not one thing that I regret so far about the process. I couldn't have asked for a better experience. I had a great experience. Honestly, I don't regret it. I I'm not gonna lie, only recently Madison Sarah just got hers taken out. Literally, I saw the video yesterday and I was like, oh my god, she's had them, I think for like four years, she's got hers removed. And I was like, oh my god, am I gonna be like that in four years? And like that kind of got in my head a little bit. And I was like, mm, no, because I'm really happy and we're two different people. A lot of people don't get them taken out in four years. So, like, I feel like that's, she's probably more of a rare person that's got them removed. More people that, more, I'd say more people keep them, like majority of people keep them until they can keep them, you know? I don't know, it's just like, mm, okay, she's getting them removed, but she didn't say there was any problems with them or anything. It's just like a personal thing for her. So completely fine, but I was like, mm, am I gonna regret it in four years? But right now, no regrets. Obviously things change, people change, life changes. Maybe in four years I'll be like, yeah, get them out, get them out. But right now, mm, no regrets, no regrets. Um, how do I feel? I feel great, honestly, as I said, great experience. Nothing Thing to comment on great how do they feel slash how do they look um obviously i'm wearing a jumper that you literally cannot see a thing um can't see nothing <laughs> didn't do this purposely by the way i just was wearing this i feel like boobs um they are harder than like a normal boob is like your natural boob is um but like nothing crazy obviously over time they softened up i didn't really notice like the gradual change um but yeah they do just like they feel like they're part of my body they don't feel alien which i was so worried about i was like do you like once you have them do you know you've got them like can you feel okay i'm different here or does it just become part of your body and it has completely just become part of my body that was one of the main things i asked my surgeon i was like am i gonna know constantly like 24 7 i have something in there and you don't you literally don't it literally becomes part of your body and they feel like normal boobs now I, I wouldn't say they feel like completely like normal boobs but they feel similar I, I don't feel them think oh my god that's not my boob do you know what i mean they look great they look beautiful <laughs> the only thing is i did get a few stretch marks on them which i didn't know i was gonna get i never heard anybody say that before so just to warn you you might get stretch marks on them i mean it doesn't really bother me at all really yeah i just thought i'd add that in because obviously that is a change in the look of them um but yeah they look and they feel fine so it's great so that also like covers like does it feel different now it doesn't feel different now at all um they feel like part of my body so it's great does it feel any different when you work out i feel like this was another question i had a lot i was like will i be able to do my workouts will i be able to do any like gym as a normal person yeah completely you will see at first no you can't exercise for like i think my surgeon said two months which is obviously quite a long time but i mean it went really quick and the last six months have gone so quick you can work out as normal after eight weeks my surgeon said eight weeks obviously different people say different things so listen to your surgeon he probably knows you know his process best um but for me it was eight weeks and now i can do anything i could do before so it's all good scarring obviously you get a scar because they're literally cutting you open um my scar is like this big I'm not good with like inch sizes but it's about that big um obviously that at the bottom nothing you can do about it i haven't even used bio oil it doesn't bother me it really doesn't bother me i literally had something done it's gonna have a scar it doesn't it's not something that affects me obviously some people want the scar gone and they use bio oil and they'll do everything to get rid of the scars and the stretch marks and stuff like that it just doesn't bother me like it's just not the end of the world um it, yeah there's a scar i literally had surgery there's gonna be a scar so i'm not too bothered but obviously if you want to try and get it down they did say you can use bio oil and stuff but for me it's not that noticeable it's right at the bottom of my boob i don't really i rarely ever see it myself um nobody nobody else really sees it either so like it doesn't really bother me at all to be honest with you but yeah there is a scar obviously on both sides can you line your front i feel like this question was a major question but i was like i never wanted to ask this question because it just sounds so stupid but like i was like it's obviously yes or no and it's just a stupid question to ask but i'm gonna answer it because you can lay on your front yeah at first obviously it feels weird but like now if i lay on my front it just feels normal um it feels different because obviously i've got a bit more of a platform but honestly it's 
fine. You just, you know you've got something more here than you did before. That's actually the only difference, but you can learn your front, no problem. If I could go back, would I do anything differently? So this kind of goes in with like, do I regret the size, anything like that? No, I don't regret the size. I'm happy that I went for the size I did. I feel like they fit my body perfectly. I think any bigger would look really stupid. I think any smaller, I would have regretted not going that little bit bigger. So I'm really happy with the size. I wouldn't do anything differently. Honestly, I wouldn't change my surgeon. I wouldn't change the hospital I went to. I wouldn't change the nurses I had. I wouldn't change the size, anything. I'm really happy with it. So no, literally straight on is a no. Like I'm just happy with what I have. Um, and I'm really grateful for the experience I had with, I know people have horror stories and that some people's bodies reject boob implants and stuff. Personally, I've had a really good experience. So I'm very grateful that it went that way. Um, and I literally feel really bad for anyone that, you know, goes through with it and like doesn't go that way for them. But personally for me, I wouldn't change anything about my experience. So yeah, that answers that question. How was the pain after? I feel like I vlogged obviously a few days after and stuff. So if you want to go see like raw footage of that, feel free to watch that video and just skip to that bit or whatever. Um, but for me, the pain, the worst pain of the whole thing was the morning after the operation. That was the worst pain for me. It wasn't even like that painful, but I just couldn't do things for myself. Like, yeah, the morning after, it's so tedious. Like I couldn't reach up the control next to me. I couldn't push myself up when I was slipping down the chair. Things like that, like that day, that morning, was the worst it wasn't too painful it was just uncomfortable and um, obviously I was on loads of painkillers as well but honestly they say to be careful for like two weeks by the seven day mark I was completely fine if I'm all, if I'm honest with you guys obviously it took it easy because they tell you to take it easy and you've just had surgery you've got to take it easy but yeah took it easy for two weeks but after seven days i was pretty normal i was literally fine say the first three days is where i was like oh i can't lift my arms up i can't do my hair i can't reach the control so i would say the first three days were the hardest for pain but the especially the day after like early morning that was the worst pain for me i didn't have any tablets in me either so i feel like obviously when i was asleep i didn't have any tablets at that point so as soon as i woke up i was in pain and yeah that was the worst but as soon as i had some antibiotics and stuff she was fine um not that that. honestly i would do it again over and over again to get what i've got so like it can't be that bad you know you know people say like about having kids and like how bad childbirth is but they're like well i have had four kids so it can't be that bad i'm like huh what how and now i'm like okay kind of get it with the boobs like <laughs> can't understand what they're saying now like it's worth the result in the end obviously boob job getting boobs and having a baby is so different but you know what i'm saying <laughs> it's the same concept oh, it makes sense in my head it just doesn't when i say it is everyday life completely normal literally simple answer yes my life is completely normal now i can do whatever i want literally skydived eight weeks after my operation so <laughs> there you go okay so another question how do you feel about getting them replaced obviously i think i said this in the first video every 10 to 15 years you should really get them replaced i know some surgeons say you don't need to my surgeon's pretty adamant that i will need it replaced in 10 to 15 years so either I get them taken out at that point or I get them redone. It doesn't bother me, to be honest. Like the only thing that bothers me is like money because I'm worried that I won't be in the financial situation to be able to do it. But like, obviously I just feel like I'm always gonna have to just keep a little bit of money to the side just in case I need them out or just in case I need them changed. I don't know if, uh, at this point, I don't know if I'll do it again and get them replaced or just get them out. And um, part of me is like, if I've had kids by then, if I'm like, I don't know, if I'm married, I don't know if I'm really going to be bothered about getting it again. Not that I'm doing it for boys, I'm doing it for myself, but like also I'll be at a point in my life where I'm like in a completely different situation to where I am now. As in like I'm young 20, like 20, I'm not 20, I'm 22. But like you know what I mean, like I'm young, whatever. I don't know, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see in the future, but right now I actually couldn't answer if I'm going to get them replaced or taken out. I don't know, we'll see when it comes to it, but yeah, I don't know. It's a weird one actually, I don't, I don't really think about it too much, so... Yeah, when, I, when it comes to it, I'll deal with it then. And like, how do you feel about going through it again? Like, I'm literally not even bothered about it. Like, obviously if I'm working, I've got kids, it'll be a little bit harder. But obviously as long as I've got everything in place and like someone to like look after me and look after the kids, if I've got kids, you know, thinking way far ahead, obviously 10 to 15 years. Yeah, that's that really. Did they help your confidence? Um, obviously it's one of the biggest reasons why I did it, for my confidence. I mean, I don't really get them out. <laughs> Like I don't really dress any differently. I don't really act any differently. I feel like it doesn't dramatically change your confidence as much as you think it will change it. But I'm glad I did it. My confidence, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if my confidence has changed. Maybe a little bit. Like I can wear nicer things and I can wear things a little bit lower. It has helped with that sort of side of things, but like everyday life like isn't really changing me as a person or anything. So 
depends how you're asking it, you know? But yeah, that's that. How much was it? Obviously, I did say I answered all these questions in the first one, but I'm just going to say the price in this one. It was 7200 and something, I think, or 7300 It was around that. I don't think it was more than seven and a half, so I think it was seven two or seven three. Obviously, loads of money. I explained my whole process of this in my first video but yeah it, i don't spend money a lot and it was something i really wanted to do so that's that but it is i know it's so much money and it's ridiculous but yeah i'm a saver and i only spend money on things that i really want so kind of explains that i really wanted it you know um but yeah it hasn't put me in debt or anything like that so it's all good i did i did have the money i've been saving since i was literally 16 so i was it was all good paying for it um didn't finance it or anything i know some people get finance i paid it outright didn't even get a loan from my mom and dad like it was all my own money and yeah done done dust it babes but yeah um all the other general questions like that are in the first video so check that out this question's like um basically saying after your first consultation how quick was your surgery i think the turnaround for me was about six weeks um, I could be a little bit off there. No, that's a lie. Okay, my first consultation was July. I can't remember the exact date. It was, I think, beginning of July. And I got my surgery in September. That was purely, I could have got it like the end of July. It was purely because I was on holiday and stuff. And you're not allowed to go on holiday eight weeks. You have to go on holiday eight weeks after your surgery. And I had a holiday book, so I couldn't. So I did it in September as soon as I got back from a holiday. And eight weeks before I went to Australia. Perfectly aligned but yeah you can literally do it quite quickly i was quite shocked to be honest i thought i'd have to wait like a year for it um but yeah went quite quick and all done how long did they take to heal i'd say like two to three months to feel like normal and like for the boobs to feel normal but i think to heal just get on with daily life honestly like a week two weeks like it wasn't bad at all um i really 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 like had this not bad feeling but i just had this in my head that was gonna be really 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 tough and it just wasn't as bad as i thought it was gonna be so if that makes anyone feel better then that's great but obviously take it with a pinch of salt because my situation and my experience could be so different to like a girl that had it done yesterday you know like everyone has a different experience but for me it was so much easier than i thought it was gonna be Obviously, went to a really great surgeon as well, um, so that could have helped that side of things, but yeah. Um, how many cup sizes did they go up? I didn't answer this on my first one because I actually hadn't been measured at the time. I did then end up getting measured because basically, another question is like, when did you ne like when did you start wearing a bra? Do you wear a bra? Um, I don't actually ever wear bras. Like, it's very rare I wear a bra. Like, I'd say 95% of the time, I not wearing one, <laughs> um, and then five percent I do. But basically, my surgeon said don't wear it for three months. So try and go six months, I think. But he said like leave it for three months because you want them to settle and set where they are, kind of thing. And he said if you have to wear it, like do it, but like don't do it often. But she didn't wear it for like three months, and then yeah, got measured and I went up. I went up three cup sizes, which is quite mad actually. Yeah, three cup sizes. I went up. So they grew overnight, literally. They grew in within an hour of surgery. <laughs> um, but yeah, three cup sizes. Yeah, obviously I didn't answer the first one, so it's quite a good question to cover in this one. Was you really nervous? <sighs> I feel like in life, like, I don't really get nervous anymore. I was saying to my mum the other day, like, I get really nervous before, and then when the time comes, like, if I'm, like, a day away, or it's, like, happening that night, or whatever, I'm literally so chill. Like, I'm like, okay, well, it's happening now. Um, I want to get through it, so I'm going to get through it. Do you know what I mean? Like, I feel like the weeks before were much worse than the actual day. Because at that time, you're just like a bit, of, you got a bit of adrenaline. You're like, okay, it's happening. Finally, you've been counting down to this day. You're going to get over it. Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, I literally, it was, I was nervous. But, like, I was also so excited. It kind of, like, cancelled the nerves out. I, I feel yeah i think that's all the questions actually that i wanted to cover in this video if you guys have any other questions just comment down below i'll either do like a year probably stop one if there is more questions or i'll just answer them in the comments if i get don't get loads um but yeah just let me know down below hope you guys did enjoy this video again this is just an extra upload and obviously it's a bit of a random one um this isn't my normal content but i just wanted to get it out there to help anybody as i said and obviously update you guys on how everything went and my rest of this journey and basically all done now like six months post-op it's gone so quick um but yeah thank you so much for watching if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up if you have any questions as i said let me know dm me i've had so many people dm me um and i literally love helping you guys so don't ever feel scared to dm me i'm literally dm away if you've got any questions any queries any worries or you're booked in and you just want someone to talk to literally dm me right love you guys hope to see you in my next video if you haven't subscribed please do and i'll see you soon bye